Happy Halloween, boys. Happy Halloween yes, to our Jumpers sir. Jump community. Yo, this is what? Episode 102? Yeah, man. I think our, our last our last Halloween episode, <laughs> we did a Squid Game. We did a Squid Game. But Which this was- time, this time we're not going <laughs> to disclose who we are for Facts. Halloween. So you guys just leave down in the comments and Facts. guess what our costumes are. Mm-hmm. Give my, them a hint, though. Give my, them a my, hint. Shit, my shit is very, like, sentimental to me because I did escape the Matrix recently. <laughs> you feel me? So, boom, you feel me? And some might say, some might say that my personality, low-key <laughs> Matches the character I'm dressed as right now. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say the name, but nah, bro. But yeah, yeah. Leave down in the comments if you guys want to guess who. Facts. But speaking of the Matrix, bro. <clears throat> yeah. Speaking of the Matrix and escaping the Matrix. the Matrix. Yo, so there's this, there's this shit I heard, uh-huh. and I kind of had my own suspicion a long, long time ago. But what about it? When I really like did my research on it, mm-hmm. this shit blew my mind. So you remember, you remember the Got Milk ads? You remember that shit? Yeah, yeah. That was everywhere in the 90s, 2000s, right? Yeah. Everybody, every celebrity had like the got milk, mm. whatever. Have you ever wondered why the fuck was milk <laughs> advertised that much? Got milk? I actually don't know why. Take it in, take it in. So everywhere in school, right? Remember the milk lady? Yeah. They we had, had the we milk, had milk days. The milk days, exactly. Chocolate milk days. Oh, those yeah. are good days. Would you say that's like almost the only food product that was ever, ever advertised, almost like a PSA, is milk? Why is that? Yeah, that is true. Now check this shit out. Why? The milk industry. Did you know the government pushed for the milk industry to be advertised and right in our faces to make us drink more milk? Did you know that? Why? So back in World War II, right? I think even World War I. Yeah. Um, they needed they needed something for the soldiers mm. to survive on, right? Yeah. So they they resorted to powdered milk and milk <laughs> products for easy protein oh. to survive, right? Okay, okay. Now check this shit out. Yeah. After the war, because there was a huge demand of milk, yeah. They had all of these like milk industries, milk factories, milk farms, right? Mm. After the war, the demand died, right? Yeah. Nobody's drinking milk like that because they didn't need it. Word. But the rich people already invested millions and millions supposedly billions of dollars into the milk industry. Facts. So now, they would be pissed. Yeah, so during the 80s and the 90s, mm. in order to, I guess, keep that whole industry alive, mm-hmm. they literally paid the government to advertise milk everywhere and make it seem as if milk is very healthy for us. But, hear me out. No way it's not healthy. Loki, I, I, feel, not. Like it, I feel like it stunts growth. It's, no, no, that, that's what you hear. Like, it's, it's really good for your bones. Yeah. Calcium, because of calcium, right? Uh-huh. You can get calcium mm-hmm. from spinach, broccoli, whatever other vegetables, right? Facts. The only reason that they try to advertise milk and make it seem like milk is so good for us and necessary, yeah. they try to tell us drinking four glasses of milk is mandatory, bro. I did drink two, two glasses. Did, it, did I you? I used to drink hella. Yeah, I did So too. much milk, right? <laughs> now, check this out. So, the reason... The reason that they kept they kept um, showing it in all these advertisements was yeah they literally have control so mm-hmm. they changed did you know sixty five percent of the world is lactose intolerant did not know that sixty five that sucks sixty five percent of the world but that why sucks. is milk yo okay for me personally I stopped mm. drinking milk you know why why that shit stopped my anxiety that ass that ass no way. Dead ass, oh, I swear actually, to God. No way. I swear if you if you drink milk before you sleep, right? Yeah. It induces it either makes you sleep I, I don't know. It's like it either makes you sleep more proper or it induces bad dreams. What which one is it? I think I think it's supposed to make you lucid dream. But lucid that's dream, all dairy. Yeah. That's all dairy. That's all dairy. Right? Yeah. But it stopped my anxiety, fam. Because really? my my gut health, because I'm actually lactose intolerant. Mm. So if you can imagine if sixty five percent of the world is lactose intolerant, you're giving them milk and showing this all in media yeah. promoting it we're all drinking milk you're gonna make the whole country what anxious as fuck anxious to drink we're all milk. fucking anxious as fuck now we all have anxiety yeah because it's like oh if mans aren't drinking milk then you're not healthy no more exactly. you're gonna die and shit no but i think um what, what you said during the world war what was it world war one world war two yeah so yeah. i also read it where um you know how fondue yeah was was so highly advertised too it's because they had this milk and they had all this cheese yeah, from yeah. the milk because they had so much milk product yeah exactly, exactly. that's exactly and, why and, and that's why like fondue is literally just melted up cheese right yeah but they advertised it so much and they made it such a a rich product like mm. uh what do you call this uh so only the the What's that word for the rich people? Like the only the rich people could eat this stuff. It's like a delicacy. Like a delicacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They made it. They made it. They made it look like a delicacy. a delicacy. Yeah, exactly. Even though it's just melted cheese. Exactly, fam. <laughs> now hear me out. Hear me out. Yeah. This is where it gets fucked, right? Uh-huh. During the '90s, when we saw 
90s and 2000s, we saw hella Got Milk ads in magazines. You can't go through a magazine and not see a Got Milk ad, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. Now, around the same time, mm. this is my own personal add-on to this theory, yeah. is why was it... So, let's say milk does increase your anxiety. It makes us all anxious, right? Mm-hmm. Quote-unquote, like, social... Yeah. I guess rejects whatever okay um problem with social anxiety yeah why was all the movies at the time about protagonists that were too shy to talk to girls too like shy what? yo almost every single protagonist in movies uh. they're always like shy men really think about it spider-man then, spider-man oh. think about it um fucking super bad mm, that makes sense look back at early 2000s 90s mm. almost all of the protagonists loser all of these <laughs> movies fam a lie fucking uh napoleon dynamite so they were they were pushing the they were pushing the anxiety and the the lower masculinity agenda exactly that, during that time, that's huh? fucked that's yeah. so crazy to me because i see it all come together mm-hmm. so if we're all anxious right yeah and then we're all watching um content of of men and like guys that unconfident mm-hmm. oh we can't talk to girls it's too much of a hassle facts, you know i mean facts. what do you how do you think we're gonna feel that's exactly how we're gonna turn out mm-hmm. you know I me mean? That makes sense, bro. The main protagonist is always like that, bro. Yeah. Main protagonist. That's great. Can you see my facial reaction through the glasses? <laughs> I can see your eyebrows sometimes okay. when they pop up. Because <laughs> sometimes, because my reactions usually come from my eyes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So this one's hiding it. But yeah, yeah. that's just that shit's wild. <laughs> I swear, there's um there's a Mandela effect on the Got Milk ads and how Avril Lavigne. Or, oh yeah, or she, it was. A I said that one you before. Said that? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. I said that one before. Yeah, how she never had the milk. We're milk looking. Ash? Yeah, everybody's looking for the Avril Lavigne one, one, but yeah. never existed. Okay, okay. okay. You okay. said that. One? Yeah. Okay. Apparently, back back. apparently, never existed. Word, word, word. I remember it there. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, you didn't. Yeah, I, I did. Yes, I, I took that. the red pill. <laughs> Shut the fuck <laughs> So I remember all these Mandela face You feel me? <laughs> nah, I remember I sent a picture of Gavin. Which I one? spent sent a picture to Gavin. I was taking like the Nyquil. I'm like, yo. I'm red pill right now. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> the night, the day quill is like red. <laughs> the, the Yo. One, no, but the day quill, I think the night one is blue. The, yeah, something the like that. The, is, the, is night one, the night one is blue. You're yeah. right. The night one is blue. But this was fun. So I had I had a, I had a fever, right? Mm-hmm. Bro, I took the day quill at nighttime. Yeah, thinking, I did that too. Thinking it's all right. Yeah. Bro, I didn't know that shit was going to keep me awake. No. What? That shit keeps you awake. No, it, it, it doesn't for me. It kept me awake, bro. I couldn't sleep at all. Really? You know what's crazy? The the moment I drink coffee, the moment I drink you get tired? April at night, it does the opposite. No way. It does. As soon as I drink coffee, I slump. Is that weird? Actually, because I used to have... No, you know why? Because caffeine why? crash. Oh, caffeine crash? Because caffeine crash is a real thing. No, but it's like, it's like after I drink 30 minutes, boom, I'm out. Mm, yeah. 30 minutes? That is caffeine crash, fam. Word. I'm pretty sure caffeine kicks in... <laughs> A minute or two, mm-hmm. but I swear that shit should ke- keep you up the whole night. Like Red Bull, I've never tried. Maybe Red you drink Bull. a lot, N- just a glass. It's like a simple glass. I don't drink coffee like that, so I can't. I, really do, I, do, I don't drink coffee either. It's like yeah. whenever I need it. That but energy good. drinks are the same shit. Like that will keep yeah. me up. I don't mess with energy drinks. I don't. I, I don't think I've ever drank one, but I do want to try the Four Loco because mm. <laughs> I, I just want to get sloshed on a Four Loco one night. Yeah, but I had my theories about about coffee too, bro. Yeah, literally coffee is made so that we keep working. We you know that working? that's why it's made? Yeah, obviously. It's literally made for capitalism. Obviously. It's literally to make us like wake up earlier in the morning and still be able to do our job and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad I didn't get into that coffee habit because- Yo, I, so much people addicted oh, I, to I coffee. Think, I think, uh, what do you call this? You said 65% of what was lactose intolerant? Yeah, 65 I know that the world, the I know world. The world. I know it's like 70% coffee drinkers right now. Mm. Comment down below if you drink coffee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because a lot of people drink coffee. Yeah. I'm, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but like mm-hmm. it, it becomes a bad thing when you're dependent on it. Yeah, like I know some some of my some of my friends like they wake up in the morning they they can't like yeah. process shit without mm-hmm. having coffee. I, I I literally stayed with a person. We had like a little hotel room. Yeah, and the moment the shorty didn't have a coffee in the morning, yeah. she was angry at me for no reason. I'm like. What the fuck, bro? She yeah, you goes gotta, home. You gotta give her her fill, yeah, bro. She goes home. She texts me. She's all right now because she had her coffee. I'm like, bro, come on now. That doesn't make no sense why you're acting like that. I know. It's like, bro, it's like you, it's like you're, you had your period if you didn't have your coffee. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, come on, dog. Is there something you depend on, like, for you to wake up and, and act normal? For me, it's food just in general. Oh, to, for me, for to me, it's act just food in general. Normal? Shit. Because I know when I wake up, I guess I can I can survive without food until like it hits Yo, four this hours is or some shit. Sad, fam. What? My phone. 
Word, yeah. yeah. Like well, right when you work, you have to yeah. grab it. Fam, you know why I started putting my phone here? Like when, because before I used to throw it on the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I used to feel so much anxiety when the oh, phone was on the bed. It. Yeah. So remember now, like every single episode where I started doing this. Yeah. I've been better. Like I, you can see, you can definitely tell from the moment. Like that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Bro. And it was it was on the higher episodes. I only started doing this ninety episodes and above, and you can tell I was way more comfortable. And I feel like this wow. was this was. Was definitely the reason why I got more comfortable on the podcast. Damn, bro. See, so my, my cyberpunk theory is correct. What? We're literally we're literally already cyborgs, nope. man. I already took the red pill. <laughs> <laughs> That's just no real. I think real red pill is like you don't even use your phone. You don't even do nothing. Yeah, you're just like out in the wilderness. Out and in shit. the wilderness. You, you know, know, you know that guy that makes like bushcraft and shit. Oh yeah, that guy's red. Pill. That's a real. Yeah, red he's pill. definitely red pill. But yo, you know who si- who definitely took the red pill? Who? J- Jadeon. Why? Why? He's hanging around with Sneeko now. Every single video he's on the Fresh and Fit podcast, that yeah, man definitely yeah, yeah. sold his soul game. <laughs> he sold his soul, you yeah. think? Definitely nah, sold his soul. I think I don't I don't think red pill is selling your soul. I think it's the opposite. What? Not selling your soul? No, because there's two there's two sides to something, right? Mm. If there's a red pill side and then there's like a compliance side, yeah. there's two sides and two extremes. Okay. I want to put myself in the middle because I don't want to be too too, yeah. too much on one side. I always try to stay like neutral. Yeah. But I don't think you can say you're a slave to one side unless, like, that's all you believe, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Then Sneeko is definitely the full red side. Then. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. There's some yeah. people There's some people that are completely onto that side, and mm-hmm. you are... Like, would you say you're a sheep to that side if you're an extremist of that side? Yeah, you are, low-key. But because then you don't want to hear nothing else from the other side, right? Yeah, then you're just closed-minded. You can't do shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's just being closed-minded. Mm-hmm. A leader, a leader would be uh, uh, preaching that side, but he would also listen to the other side. Mm. I feel like because leaders always have to try and get the best from both sides. Right? Yeah. What do you think the best leader would do? Do you think both sides yeah, or both sides for or sure? One side. That's no, a, that's a good debate though. I don't think I don't think a leader. A leader should always take in other opinions so he can better his. Mm. So it's like, oh, you can take in stuff from that. Oh, like in the presidential debates, mm-hmm. right? They always hear the the bad leaders always fuck fuck that other side. I stick on my side. Yeah. But the real ones, oh yeah, I can maybe take good from that side too. Combine yeah, it with mine. In, in a perfect world. In, in a, a perfect, perfect world. world. Yeah, 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 I agree. I agree in a perfect world. Mm-hmm. But would you say a lot of leaders, because they're so successful, is because they only stand on one ground? <laughs> because that that's what gets the people going <laughs> but i feel like as, no I, that's scary though because like yeah. so someone like andrew tate who who stood on that ground finally gets his his like a uh, lock off like oh you're banned from anything mm. now it's like you stood on that so hard now you can't even transition to another side because you were so close-minded the people are not going to let you live that down mm. that's that's a good point that's a good yeah. point but i think to to be to be in a position of power you mm. do have to be like very strong on one side already yeah to to actually get the attention of people because if you're too that's a that, i don't know because exactly, i'm, I'm contradicting like, myself because i'm kind of mm. neutral mm. i'm kind of neutral but i'm still like i'm still strong on my opinions you know I mean? yeah i know i, I was gonna mention because you you usually i'm pretty strong on my opinions but I, I try to stay neutral like politically <laughs> yeah yeah like if, <laughs> you know? if someone would uh if someone would try to give input i you would listen yeah it's still listen. at the same time it's like whenever we tell you stuff you don't listen at the end of the day it's just like a little like uh what a ghost oh, what would you call that goes a in sm- one ear smoke, yeah, out, the other? out the other like a smoke grenade like oh you really ch- think we're listening you're i'm listening to you <laughs> no nah, i'm really not like no but i do listen yeah, but you listen, but you don't listen. You feel me? I guess. Exactly. Okay, okay. What makes what makes a good listener though? Like, oh, um, one is you have to always be reactive. So like mm. you know how I do to you, like whenever yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you're telling a story, I'm always like, oh shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a good listener. If I'm here, like while you're telling the story, <laughs> I feel like you wouldn't tell me the story. That's true. Also, that's true. Also, I learned that head movement, mm-hmm. and whenever someone like if if you're in a classroom, teachers love when they stare at you and you hit them with the the nod, because that means yo, that means, that's the biggest dick riding I ever heard. Gavin. No, fam, that means that means that you're you're taking in what they're saying and you're yeah, nodding. no, that's you true. Though. I agree, I agree. Like, just, no, 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 that's fam, true. You know what I studied? I studied being a listener rather than a talker. Really? Yeah, because I feel like being a listener can yeah. make me into a better talker. Isn't that that true? Being a listener can being make a you good into- listener can be make you into a good talker because you can just uh, bounce off whatever they say. Hmm. Right. But I have a different approach to everything. Though. You can't be a good talker if you're not a good listener, though. Hmm. That's oh, a, that's, that's so fast. You can't be a good talker so if you don't fast. be a good listener. 
Because if, if you're always talking, talking, you're not listening. No one wants to have a conversation with you. No, actually, 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 I have a... Fendi facts, bro. No, I do. I do have a debate for that, though. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you no don't. I do, though. I do. Listen, listen. Because a lot of the time when you hear somebody like go on a spiel, it's mm. usually like nobody's talking back at them when they go on a spiel or a, like a speech or whatever. Yeah. You know I mean? But you wouldn't say they're a bad speaker. You wouldn't say technically because they're still getting their bars off. But a part of speaking also includes that other part of listening. That's debatable, Gavin. Okay. okay, in conversation, yes. Yeah, in conversation. In yeah. conversation, yes. But speaking in general, not necessarily. I feel like there's there's never going to be a time when someone says something and it doesn't, and some question or something doesn't come. Ready? Back. You ready? Okay. What? In the military, like like a, a general or like a marine freaking drill sergeant. Yeah. You think they're listening to what they have to say back? No, he tells them exactly what to do, but he says it with such conviction mm. that they like, yo, we have to do this shit. Mm. They don't they don't give back their feedback. They just listen to orders. But I that's would, a different that's a different yeah. thing. But we're we're just talking speaking in general, but in a conversation, yes. Yeah, yeah. What makes Joe Rogan so good is because he he really listens and yeah. he elaborates on. Mm -hmm. Right? And and <laughs> Joe Rogan, I think he had a podcast of his own. Like he was the only one talking to himself. Did he? Yeah. Like he would sit down in his basement and and talk to himself in the camera. And that's how his podcast started. I feel like I could do that. <laughs> no, that's why. It's like, uh, if, if you can do that, you can definitely, you can definitely generate conversation with someone else. Like how, mm. because I know when we started the podcast, you searched up ways on how to get better at talking. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy yeah. Because yeah. I literally searched up the opposite, so it was low key meant to be. Oh, so you learn how to be good. Yeah, because like, you always listen. told me like, oh, yeah. don't, don't like learn how to talk. It's like, <clears> no, if you can perfect talking and I can perfect listening, then boom. That's, that's pretty good. Still, that's really good. That's combo right yeah, there. Exactly. That's combo. I, I, you guys were playing checkers. I was playing chess, fam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to I want to get into some let's stories real quick. Yeah, Halloween fam. Let's get into some some creepy stories. You want to so, go first? Yeah, yeah. So All right, let's th go. This is a Halloween haunted house, right? Yeah. And this house gives you twenty grand if you can go through it. Is that scary? It's that scary. And listen, it takes eight hours yeah, to complete, yeah. and the farthest anyone has gone or survived yeah. was six hours. What and and they, uh, I think, here, let me get the name right so you guys can search it up. So you have to stay in there as long as possible. Yeah, and but f twenty grand, but they make you do the craziest shit. That's a Mr. B shit. Yeah, bro. I know. That's, that's what everyone said. So, so it's called McKinney Manor, and it's yeah. in Tennessee, right? Mm -hmm. And people would <laughs> slap you. They would kick you. They would force you to shave your head. Damn. Uh, they would. Uh, what do you call this? They would make you eat weird things. You're just getting bullied, bro. I know. <laughs> and they would torture you. One of the torture methods they would use yeah. is something called waterboarding. Oh shit! Yeah. So, so they put a cloth. Yeah. And they drop water. So you can't breathe. That's what they do in torture, fam. Yeah. That's literally torture. Exactly. And fam, the CIA, the CIA even banned this because it was too like cruel, cruel yeah, for them. Yeah, too cruel. Yeah, and they're doing that in the haunted house right now. Damn. What the fuck? Yeah. People. That's not died. legal. That's not legal. It is legal. Because you know they, why? They sign waivers. They signed the, <laughs> that's some the, dumb shit. There's bro. a forty-page waiver that you have to sign. That's and some dumb shit. And people have died, but it's all legal. You know why? Because they signed that. Shit See, off. look, I, I feel like the only people that would go to that shit though, yeah, is they get their own pleasure out of it. Feel me? A lot like kinky, but <laughs> yeah, probably, probably. It's like, oh, slap me again. Like, yeah, being real, being real, those are probably the people that sign up and like, like no regular person gonna <laughs> go there Facts. for six hours. That's far. I'm gonna lie, if I was if I was homeless, I would definitely try. <laughs> for 20 grand yeah that's not even I, I would just crawl up in a ball and be like fuck you feel me just like i don't even have to get through it you just have to survive like oh, shit. no bro if they torture you that's different yeah that's different you can literally die from waterboarding bro <laughs> yeah you know waterboarding literally sounds like something fun it's not fun <laughs> <laughs> waterboarding <laughs> sounds like, this. like you're surfing and shit no nah, dog that shit's not fun a lie okay i have i have a story for you ready okay, let me hear it is a halloween theme kind of actually okay. kind of <laughs> so do you remember, you know that's that nursery rhyme, The Muffin Man? Do you know The Muffin, Muffin Man? Man? Okay, yeah. Did you know what that that whole nursery rhyme is actually based on a real serial killer? Oh, man. Doing what, man? Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> so, he fed kids muffins? Poisonous muffins? This happened in the 1800s. His name was Frederick Thomas Limwood. Okay. Now, not only was he a serial killer, yeah. he was the first ever documented serial killer in the world. Documented. Documented. Oh, so this is the first ever serial killer that they know about. What the fuck? Yeah. So this whole this whole song, Do You Know the Muffin Man? The muffin it was man. all based on him, right? Mm. Now the story goes that Frederick Thomas, yeah. where did he live? Where did he live? On Drury Lane. He lived on Drury Lane, just like in the song, right? Oh, now shit. check this out. 
in Drury Lane, what he would do, the reason he's called the Muffin Man yeah. is he would wait in alleyways and try to take kids and encourage them to come so he can kidnap them oh, no. by giving them muffins. Muffins. That's so corny, bro. Yeah, I know, but literally, this, this is true. This is literally what <laughs> yeah, happened. Yeah. So the whole song, mm. the reason they made the Muffin Man song was to warn kids and make them aware about the Muffin Man <laughs> and how he's a danger in Drury Lane. Oh, no. So everyone in that area would sing, do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin oh, Man, the Muffin? Oh. So the, the parents literally made that song. Yeah. For the kids to know and for them to spread the word and the message so that they're all aware of that f literally the world's first serial killer god damn the first one is crazy yeah and he had a song about him bro and yeah no, no it makes sense though it, ma <laughs> it makes sense that he was that popular yeah exactly and and these are ki little kids singing this song bro yeah what the Do fuck? You know the muffin? now if you look back at like uh shrek and shit yeah the Muffin Man on Drury Lane. <laughs> no, that so, was based yeah. on? So he would literally, yeah, he literally just take kids. I'm pretty sure he would cannibalize them too. I don't oh get... Oh my God. Don't, Dude. don't fax me on that, but I'm pretty sure. I think he, he actually kidnapped and murdered over like 70 kids. Mm. Something crazy like that. Is it like, what time period was it like? 1800s like, fam. No, but like 17 kids in like 20 years, 30. I don't know. I don't know exactly. Oh, but it was definitely a long time for him to get that status. No. On Drury Lane. Why bro. did they why did they make a song though? It's like, oh no, it makes to, sense. To warn, to that warn. makes sense. Yeah. Fuck. I think, yo, dead ass, there's definitely some songs out there that when you yeah. listen to, there's there's a true meaning mm -hmm. and the original meaning was to stop us to or stop teach it, us a yeah. lesson, right? Mm -hmm. Speaking of serial killers, what do you think about um uh since you know how squid game last year yeah was like the big netflix movie before halloween got him mm -hmm. and then um everyone was dressing as squid game but now jeffrey dahmer was one of the biggest netflix series before halloween so what do you think about people dressing, dressing as jeffrey as, dahmer no, and like kids especially like moms are dressing their kids up as jeffrey dahmer do you think it's offensive i, I do think it is especially if, even just like killer clowns and and the, every any other serial killer i feel like that shit is whack <clears throat> see the problem is, if it's offensive to somebody out there, then yeah, yeah then it is offensive. Mm -hmm. But to me personally, I don't think it is. Mm, like, it, it doesn't offend me personally, mm, right? True. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cancel them because it doesn't offend me. But offend mm -hmm. somebody else, then yeah, and they speak out, then I'm gonna have a problem with it too. Mm. But until like somebody else speaks out and offends them, like yeah. I don't personally, I don't really care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, there's two sides because obviously I'm you're thinking about the families. Like imagine, imagine you're the family and you still you're yeah still exactly. Alive. That's that's what and I'm saying. And you see a kid walking in the Jeffrey Dahmer costume. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Sock that fucking kid in the mouth, fam. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fucked. That's yeah. really messed up. Yeah. But I think that's that's the problem we have right now is a lot of people we wanna like when we see something quote unquote could Can't be bad we wanna like jump on it and then feel important about it. Yeah. Right. But it doesn't really affect me so why am yeah. i really uh, bothered uh, yeah a, a recent That's example it. a recent example too i seen on tiktok you know how a lot of people do impersonations of people yeah and how jeffrey and evan peters's voice is so like so like uh unique mm -hmm. and like how he does that oh you want to party hardy yeah like that. yeah yeah and, and they're they're Im imitating them and they're like doing this for comedy but everyone's getting so offended i'm like oh no like that i get though because it's like it's just an impression of the actor Right, that's not that serious. It's not that serious, but for to dress up as the actual person to have like blood on you and you know like what, that. it's because it's a real person. Yeah, that's why. That's too. exactly it. That's yeah. why too. Like if someone dressed up as Hitler, that's kind of fucked. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, okay, but uh, what if someone dressed up as Zombie Hitler? Does uh, making them zombified? Does making them zombified make them non cancelable? I think that's a theory that that is true. <laughs> <laughs> like think like, about it though. A lie. Think about it. Like if you dress up, if you dress up as somebody that's low key cancelable, <laughs> and then zombify them. Yo, is it now acceptable? If you do a zombie Jeffrey Dahmer, I don't think mans are gonna be mad. Ah, a maybe. zombie, a zombie Jeffrey Dahmer, mans aren't gonna be mad. <laughs> zombie Jeffrey because he's dead, right? Yeah. Like if someone is dead, then it's like maybe. maybe. So so maybe, okay. Look, look, oh theory, yeah. theory. So if somebody is somebody that's hated, okay, and it's zombified version of them. Yeah, then it makes the <laughs> makes the costume okay. You're about to get all these but people killed. <laughs> No, listen, listen. So if it's a hated person and you make it zombified, then uh, the costume might be okay. I, leave that in the comments. I'm actually curious. Everyone's about to go on zombified serial killers everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So it might be okay. But yeah. if it's if it's somebody that passed away and it's somebody that's not hated and the opposite, they're loved, yeah. zombified, then that makes it cancelable. So it's the yin and the yang, bro. Because mm. if you go with zombie Tupac, that's kind of offensive. <laughs> 
zombie Tupac? That's kind of offensive. I feel like no, it's it's not. I feel like your theory is right. As long as you zombify it, then you're good. Yeah. So if no, no, so so it's both mm-hmm. sides, right? Yeah. Because if you go as zombie Tupac, that's low key offensive. With look, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, that's kind of that's disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. But if you go as zombie somebody hated, mm. you know what I mean, then it's like, oh, okay. But yeah, I got a I got a little thing to add on to your uh, your serial killer story too. Yeah. Because you know how my shit is clowns. So I, instead of instead of a serial killer tricking and getting all these kids, mm. there was uh, a story I read about a clown called the Night Clown. Yeah. Right. And instead of kids, he Lily took every dog on the block. Damn. So I think it was around uh, 2002 when this happened, and. Uh, it was in, I think it was in Texas. So he's like a dog murderer. Yeah. The amount of dogs that were missing in Texas was like 60, 70%. Holy shit. Only because of this night clown. And there was one time, a little six-year-old girl, right? Yeah. She was like, she was so sad because she had this like emotional bond with her dog, right? Mm-hmm. So obviously, she's trying to go into her nearest forest and trying to go find that dog, right? Mm-hmm. And when she goes in that forest, she goes missing for a bunch of time, right? Yeah. And her mom... And her everyone scavenging for this little girl. They go in, they see her. She's crawled up in like a ball and she's crying. Right? Yeah. And she says in um in her in her language that, oh, I seen a clown eating my dog. I seen a clown eating my dog. And Yeah, yeah. And, and people wouldn't believe that shit. Exactly, because right? yeah. she's a six year old girl. But it was crazy because when the when school was happening, all these kids were so traumatized and everyone was drawing the same pictures. So a kid would draw a face of a clown. Oh, and it's the same. And it would here. I, I'll show you a picture of what yeah. they draw because it was fucked. So look, this is this is what they would draw: a clown and the dog right fuck. beside it. The yeah, dog yeah. right beside it, and a kid would be like, "What the fuck? I seen that!" And he would start crying too, mm-hmm. right? And everybody, everyone, uh, started crying. And now recently, there was another picture that came up. This is super recent. Yeah, about a clown. In a mask that look exactly like all of those kids' pictures. Damn. And it's roaming around right now. Still to the Yeah, Night Clown. 2002, the Night Clown. To present, to present. To present. So now stealing kids or just still no, dogs? Still dogs. Still dogs? dogs? Yeah, still dogs. That's different. That because I never heard I never heard of like a, a dog serial killer. Yeah, because why dogs? <laughs> but that's that's interesting, right? Because yeah. it, is it is this still that's still illegal? Yeah, they're still. Fair. But you're not going. You're not going to like life in prison for that <laughs> shit. Yeah, exactly. It's like the the bunny man you talked about. He was just eating up a whole bunch of bunnies. That's literally that version of this, except dogs. Yo, Gavin. Yo, <laughs> listen. What? What if we can convince all serial killers to stop trying to harm <laughs> humans, fam, and only just harm the dogs? No, that's fucked in the. No. Loki is better than killing humans, right? It is. It is. It is. And it's just as impactful in their mind should be. Not saying that we should do that, <laughs> should, but like, for sure, for sure. If you can, if you can convince the serial killers yeah, to just like go after I something would, that's not fucking human, exactly. Fuck. So it's like, but if you see a serial killer, no, just take my dog. <laughs> yeah, Loki. Because <laughs> look, if there's a serial killer uh-huh. to to kill mosquitoes and shit, mm. boom, we're living. Oh my you know god. I mean? If they, if they can get off like killing other shit that we don't care about. Yeah. Not saying that we don't care, but I care about my dog. Feel me? Yeah, I still course, care about my dog. You have a dog, so that, I have a dog, that, that was yeah. crazy for me to hear you say that. No, no, but I'm saying like sacrifice your dog. No, but human, I think some points, there's literally some times yeah. people would take their their dog mm. over another human being. <laughs> for sure. You can't lie to me. Yes. You can't tell me there's literally some people that mm. will take care of their dog before saving another person. That's yes, bro. Dog. That that's why it's like it was crazy to hear since since I don't have a dog and I'm not a dog person. Yeah. But I still want to sacrifice. But you know how dogs. they move. You know how yeah, dogs exactly. move. Yeah. And you're you're straight away. Nah, let's sacrifice the dogs. <laughs> that was no. No, okay. Let's let's be real, fam. Yeah. I was gonna say something crazy. Yeah. But I'm not gonna say. <laughs> let's not be real. <laughs> let's not be real. <laughs> no, I was gonna say something. I was about to say something crazy. Yeah. But nah, let's not say that. <laughs> But yeah, moving on. <laughs> Carlos loves his dogs. Okay, okay. Um, going to when, when you're talking about the drawing thing and how yeah. all these kids like had similar drawings. Similar drawings. There's the there's this movie I watched mm. called The Knowing, okay. and pretty much this girl, she was like mentally unhinged, and yeah. a lot of people thought she was crazy, right? Okay. And during class in kindergarten, yeah. she would write so many numbers on just a blank piece of paper mm. like a full page of just like random numbers and numbers and numbers and numbers right yeah, yeah. now it was said like this girl she was being possessed that's what the rumor was going around mm-hmm. and at one point 
she found herself locked in the basement of the school because I think the kids like pushed her in and locked her in like a closet. Holy fuck. And you know what she did? Why? She ended up writing numbers onto the door. Like numbers and numbers and numbers what and numbers mean? onto the door. Now, turns out, yeah. this is years later because there's this guy that went to go investigate it. Okay. The numbers that she was writing mm. were actually, they were coordinates to places with natural disasters and terrible events that happen in the world. Like the, the exact, fuck? exact geolocations yeah. and a date. No way, like yeah. 36 dot 45. Yeah, dot. literally like the coordinates, like oh, the long ass no. number coordinates yeah. and then a date of when it happened. Fam. What the fuck? Is crazy. This is a movie though. This is a movie, it's called The Knowing. Okay, The Knowing. Yeah. And she was locked in that room. Yeah, but I think I think what happened, she like died or passed away. Wow. And then um, this guy wanted to go investigate, like why was she writing all yeah, these numbers yeah. and shit, right? Did they ever find out like why? Why? Did I don't want to spoil the movie, but okay, y'all go, okay. y'all, yeah. y'all go watch it. Maybe you should watch it in okay. the in the Discord. Okay, bet, bet, bet. movie night. Yeah, in Discord or that. <laughs> Shout out to our sponsor, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. It's time to cozy up and. Save money by cooking at home. Fall is the perfect time to experience the delicious taste and unparalleled convenience of HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, ingredients travel from farm to your doorstep in less than seven days. So you know they're fresh. Plus, pre-portioned ingredients make cooking a snap and cut down on food waste. HelloFresh's quick and easy meals like their 20-minute recipes or low prep and easy cleanup options mean you'll spend less time in the kitchen and more time with your loved ones. Personally, for me, when I have a really busy schedule, it's hard for me to go out grocery shopping and get exactly what I need. HelloFresh takes all of that and makes it super easy for me, gets ingredients straight to my home, and I can use their recipes to cook good food with no issues. So go to HelloFresh.com slash Jumpers65 and use code Jumpers65 for 65% off plus free shipping. HelloFresh.com slash Jumpers65, that's J-U-M-P-E-R-S 65 for 65% off plus free shipping trust me guys you don't want to miss out on this deal it's literally america's number one meal kit also if you guys remember green chef they are now owned by hello fresh and with a wider array of meal plans to choose from there's something for everyone i love switching between the brands and now our listeners can enjoy both brands at a discount with us this holiday season, I'll be giving thanks to our friends over at Manscaped. Everyone loves turkey, stuffing, but you know you'll be looking like dessert with the help of Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0. The leaders in below-the-waist grooming have blessed you with the ultimate Thanksgiving dinner topic. Tell your in-laws about the new cutting-edge ball trimmer and gift yourself or the man in your life the ultimate men's hygiene bundle. Trim your pumpkins by going to manscaped.com and use code JUMPERS. J-U-M-P-E-R-S for free shipping and 20% off. Inside, you'll find the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, Crop Ball Preserver Deodorant, Crop Reviver Toner, Performance Boxer Briefs, and a travel bag to hold all of your goodies. Think of it as a cornucopia for your balls. Their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. It also includes a 400K LED light when you need a more precise shave, plus it's waterproof. Trust me guys, I personally use the Lawnmower 4.0 and I don't look any further because this trimmer gets the job done perfect for me. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S at manscaped.com. That's 20% percent off plus free shipping at manscaped.com using code jumpers j-u-m-p-e-r-s be thankful this holiday season for the best gift of all from manscaped your balls will thank you there was also a a story i read too uh, this is halloween based yeah so there was a girl who couldn't leave her room every october 10th of the year why october 10th and this is why so the mom the mom whenever uh the date came She would mark it on the calendar. She would circle it. She would highlight it. Make sure that her kid was in her room with no windows and stuff. Yeah. Right. And she never, she never told uh, her kid why. Mm -hmm. Right. And whenever she had school on that day or if she had to do something else that day, she's like, nope, you're not allowed to leave the house. Yeah. Right. So every year, both of them would on October 10th, they would lock themselves in a room with no windows. Right. And 
every year, fam, you would hear uh, someone ring the doorbell on the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But the mom obviously is with the child. So she's like, no, we're staying in this room. We're staying in this room. Mm. Right? Do never, like she told her kid, like, please do not ever do this. Right? And as soon as um October uh, midnight hits and October 11th comes, yeah, the knocking, the ringing of the doorbell disappears. But why that day? Like what? Exactly. Uh, trust me, uh, it's building up. It's building up. So one day her mom had to go on like a, a work trip. Yeah. Right? And the kid already knew. October 10th, I'm going to lock myself in that room and not not do anything. She knows the drill. She knows the drill already. So that day comes, right? The kid, she hears the knocking. Knock, knock, knock. She hears the ringing of the doorbell. And this is her first time without her mom. Mm -hmm. So she's like, fuck, I think I'm going to just go and see what it is. Because her mom never told her what it was. Mm -hmm. So goes down the stairs. She's about to open the door. She hears the doorbell ringing one more time. Yeah. She opens the door. And she's face to face with like a tall, skin peeling, Ooh, what the fuck? skeleton looking woman. Yeah. And she has her mouth open like this, all the way wide. Mm-hmm. And she's pointing at the, the child, right? Yeah, yeah. And she slams the door and goes back into her room. Mm-hmm. And she calls her mom. She's like, no, I need answers right now. Like I opened, <laughs> yeah, like, the like, like I opened the door <laughs> and I saw this shit. And now it's not leaving me alone. Yeah. So the mom, she's like, well, on that day, before we moved into the house, there was a fire, right? Mm. And there was also a mom and daughter living in that house. And the mom's body in the, in the fire was found, but the daughter's wasn't. Oh, shit. So every October 10th, a ghost spirit tries to go into that house and then look and and possess the little girl to get her life back Fuck. yeah she because she was looking for her daughter she was looking for her daughter damn bro it's fucked so october 10th boys i mean it's past but shit yeah <laughs> october's october's done but, yeah but still you know there's so much shit about mm. october being like very very spiritual do you, be- do you believe in certain months having like certain yes. power. I feel like that? I feel like October is definitely the most like you can feel the craziest energy because Halloween is based on a demonic, uh, yeah. ha- uh, like a holiday, right? Mm-hmm. I think it's called Sha Shaman. It's a Celtic uh, festival where they literally go and around and uh, they do bonfires and they jump around the bonfires. That's yeah. where it came from, like the Hallows Eve. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yo, so so for me, for me, every single October, when does the New Year start for you on New Year's Day? Like New Year's Day, New Year's no, Eve. No, it starts Low January key, 1. Check this out. Check this <laughs> out, man. For me, I don't know why. Uh, I really don't know why. But every single like September, October, that's when the New Year starts for me. What? It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't start on like December 31st, January 1st. Why? Nah. Why? I don't know. I don't know. What? But, but there's a theory about it, right? Okay. I always had this feeling before. Like I literally had this feeling before, but there's okay. an actual theory. Yeah. Now, did you know Julius Caesar... Augustus Caesar mm-hmm. added two months onto our calendar. No, I didn't. What the hell? So our original calendar, Gavin, yeah. with January, February, October, no- November, all of these months, right? Yeah. Didn't have, the original calendar didn't have July and August. Okay. July is named after Julius Caesar. August, Augustus. Oh, shit. Deadass. So our calendar yeah. is actually wrong. Mm. Our calendar is actually wrong. But do you actually go by that though? No, like, I don't go by that. Yeah. But 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 it's crazy because I heard that theory uh-huh. after the fact. Yeah. After the fact that I always feel like, like my new year already started. No, but there is definitely a switch in energy because it's like all those years prior are are boring. Yeah. And then October, November, December, you get Halloween, you get uh, New Year's, and you get Christmas all in one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, were all those just started to wait? So wait, so you're saying the original calendar only had. The months before. The months before. October. Oh, yeah, because there's no, there's no, um, yo. No, I found it. I found it. There, there's literally no, like, uh, tradition or festival oh, during festival. July and August. During July yeah. and August. So I feel like they made those three up to, to make sure that the government, government was making enough money to keep the economy running. So October, Halloween, you buy all this shit for Halloween. Uh, no, November, Christmas, you buy all this shit for, no, uh, for, for Christmas. For Christmas, for Christmas. Uh, New Year's, you celebrate with money and shit. Too. Yeah, yeah. February, uh, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. March, um, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Yo! <laughs> Yo, every single month has something. Yeah. Spring, Easter, Spring, April. Easter. Easter, summer. Just a fucking party all day, bro. Real shit, yeah. Vacation. Vacations, facts. 
Yeah, they, they had this. Up, hey, man. shout out to elites, man. You, you, guys, <laughs> Yo, you guys really are playing checkers. It's all set up. So recently, <laughs> shout out to uh, do, you know what, do you know what numerology is? Yeah, like numbers and shit? Numerology, though. You ever heard that term? Yeah, obviously. I'm an accountant. I'm an accountant. <laughs> No, not <laughs> no, no, like numbers, no, no, not not just numbers, but like the signif the spiritual significance of yeah, numbers. Yeah, yeah, like sp yeah. So one, 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 four, four, four. Kinda, kinda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you know? Did you know? There's certain like you can find out your life path, bro. This is crazy. Oh, because by this? No, 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 no. <laughs> so you know how people they look at their astrology sign, yeah, and then they see like their characteristics and personal blah blah blah, right? Mm -hmm. Like certain traits they take on, yeah. Check this out. Uh -huh. There's there's one called numerology. Okay. You put in your birth date and it gives you a number that's your life path oh. and a description of what happened. Guess what mine is? Three. Yeah. How'd you know? <laughs> yo. Because, fam, you always, yo, whenever we see it. Isn't that fucked? Isn't that <laughs> fucked? So my life path is actually three, though. No way. No way. It's actually, Bullshit. look, look, look. Deadass. Deadass. Look, look. Here, here. We'll go. Numerology right okay, now. Yo, if mine is one or 11, then I'll believe Get my it. laptop. Get my laptop. Okay, okay, okay. This is this is crazy, cause get my lap. Cause I was looking, I was looking at like personal characteristics and traits yeah. and shit. Cause it gives a description of what they'd act like. Okay, bro, it's scary accurate. Okay, okay. Like I, I even put yours in, cause I want to see what yours was. Is mine one or eleven? I don't know your number, okay. but I read your description, and, and that shit accurate? was fucking accurate. Fuck, okay. That's fucking accurate. Hold on. Okay, bad, bad, bad. This this one's crazy, cause it's like I'm not a full believer on on astrology, right? Mm. But this one was too scary. It's like it's like so random, cause Word. cause the way the the numerology works is it it gives you a sum of your of your birth date. Okay. okay. So it it puts like a sum and then like. A certain calculation, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. Now everybody's is gonna be different, and it's not gonna be based off months. It's like there's no way everybody in the same month is gonna be like this, yeah, blah yeah. blah. But a calculation, that's that's different. Bro. Okay, yo, you you have to read it to me, yeah. then I'll believe it. Because if yo, if that ass, because I've been seeing one and eleven, that those are my life numbers. So if that's accurate, bro. <laughs> when I read it, man. When I read it. Oh, okay, this is it. This is it. Ready? Oh, so you want me to read mine or yours first? Uh yours, yours. yours. Okay, okay. My birthday is February eighth. Holy smoke! It's actually bright as fuck. <laughs> Two thousand. Calculate report, right? Boom. So it gives you a calculation. No way. It's number no three, way. bro. No it's way. number it's fucked. No so way. look, look. So my life path number is number three. Okay. Now, remember in the beginning of the podcast, fam, yeah. we are looking at I was always telling you, yo, I always see the number 33. Yeah, like 33 literally, every, time. literally yeah. everywhere. And I even show you in, in person. Yeah. Now my life path number is actually three. Now read character possibilities of this. Okay. These people are mentally alert and have creative minds. They are creative and original. And they have a good imagination. That's fact. <laughs> yeah. They hate boredom. <laughs> oh my god! And like to cooperate with others. Eh. <laughs> yeah, I look boring. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. They they're charming in a way. Eh. I'm yeah, I'm witty. I'm witty as fuck, man. <laughs> they are critical of others, and they should therefore learn how to be more diplomatic. They need to work freely and without restraints. That's facts. Yeah, yeah. They they like working in pairs. They're working in a pair right now. Fam. Okay. They often work better under stress, which activities they're meant, which they're activities they're meant to. Okay. That's so true. I always work yeah. under stress, right? Yeah. Look, they usually succeed quickly. They need to be more ambitious and succeed open up more. Succeed quickly is crazy. Yeah, fam, look, look. Succeed quickly so is crazy. So they're in intensive, imaginative in problem solving. Okay. Yeah, I always look at like outside the box yeah, and shit. Yeah. So they make new contacts easily. Oh, for sure. Right? For sure. But they are sometimes superficial. Sometimes, sometimes, yeah, yeah. right? Not all the time. They make decisions fast, but not always the correct ones. That's kind of true still. I, yeah. I, I'm I, very impulsive. Yeah. Now check out weaknesses. Okay. Beware of <laughs> restlessness. Beware of restlessness. This guy does not sleep, bro. Distractibility. You have ADC. <laughs> Bad temper, uh, uh, eh, eh, yeah. irritability, I guess. Fear of dullness and uneven financial life. Yeah, for yeah. sure. That is. Beware of careless. Ah, uh, not really, but okay. Look, look. So, so I'm gonna read all of yours too, but okay, okay. but continue reading. Look, okay. character possibilities. They are full of energy. They have leadership inclinations. Okay. They are intelligent, quick witted, inspiring. Blah blah. blah. They have good imagination. They are hardworking and determined. They are patient, quick, honest, and ser I'm very serious. For sometimes, sure. Though. They have a strong will. Facts. They are willing to overcome a number of obstacles not, if they not, want to okay re people. read weaknesses yeah. this is where it gets fucked these people are obstinate i don't know obstinate yeah. but and stubborn oh, and dealing facts. with difficult situations and, and fight. fighting <laughs> enemies but look, look, beware of greed power and the abuse of position and money oh. damn remember when i told you all the time um temptation 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 yeah, power power sure. power yeah 
telling you, bro, those yeah. are the demons I fight literally every day. Holy smoke. Okay, bro. let's read yours, yeah? Yeah, that's crazy. No, success quickly was crazy because literally everything you've done was fucking blown up on TikTok immediately. Okay, so November, November 11. 11. If it's 11, then I'll freak out, bro. But I don't think it's going to be 11. Okay, I'm going to read yours, okay? Okay. I if it's I, 1 or 11, I'll actually I don't know out. what yours is. I actually haven't okay. checked yours. <laughs> I I don't know the number. Oh, number six. Six. Okay. Now I'm gonna read it. Look. Okay. Okay. Character possibilities. These people will have to make choices very often and are necessary to make the right decisions in life of emerging opportunities. Okay. Okay. Romantic relationship, family, and home are the foundations for success. For sure. You like? Yeah. You you feel that? Yeah. All right. So they like helping others. Mm -hmm. They need a partner who usually meets their expectations. Mm -hmm. They long for harmonizations in their relationships. They're usually successful in love, life, and marriage. Oh, However, okay. it's necessarily to find willingness to make compromises. Compromises. Facts. They often have a talent for business Ooh. and a sense for aesthetics and art. Oh, I right? fuck with that. They should regularly take care of their health and they emphasize the material side of life no, they emphasize <laughs> they emphasize the material side of life it is very important to clarify on what, on what is good and what is bad facts and and understand the purpose of challenges to strengthen and check person's determination Yo. i was reading yeah. that shit i'm like that's exactly Gavin's yeah because fam i literally had to learn my purpose in this to make me better Look, look, now, now the weakness is in oh, the, the weakness is in oh, like, Check this out. Fuck. I read this out. Like, this is Gavin. Like, fuck. talk. Look, watch this. Beware of hesitation. Uh. <laughs> Beware oh, of hesitation. No. Look, look, look. No. Restlessness, intolerance. Beware of excessive desire for perfection and irritability. That's facts, bro. Nah, the hesitation. Hesitation is actually facts, bro. No, no, I, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to call Yara on this, but yeah. Loki, this is proper too. What? <laughs> Birthday Char number 11, no, sensitivity? No. So character possibilities, these people are sensitive and intuitive. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I, I don't want to call you out on that shit, but... No, but I, yeah, 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 that yeah, makes yeah. sense, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I'll, I'll definitely hold that. They're interested in spiritual path. They're char charismatic. They like other people. They're a daydreamer. Oh, fa I daydream all the time. Yeah. They're diplomatic. Eh, they have revolutionary thinking. I don't know what, what is diplomatic, because I got that, too. I feel like that's political. Like, I'm not even diplomatic like that. Weakness. These people are stu are stubborn, vulnerable. Fuck, man. <laughs> yeah, this, I don't know why oh. they're roasting you for this one. Yo, misunderstandings may occur. <laughs> <laughs> they often get into a state of uncertainty. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is like this is you yeah, right here. Um, sometimes they're dependent on others. Yeah, I mean, beware of anger and emotional outbursts. Yo, that was me before, fam. That's fine. <laughs> So, yeah. yo, honestly, I think this shit is more accurate than any astrology. Six. So my shit is six. Yeah. And you know what? Oh, I don't want to give out the secrets, man. Yeah. I'm not going to give out the secrets, mm -hmm. but there's certain numbers too. This is... So I was really looking at um, what is numerology and then how do, how do people... Because people will take advantage of numerology if it's real, right? Yeah. yeah. Now check this out. Uh, Donald Trump. Mm. When he used to make his tweets, especially his political tweets, okay. he would always um, put it on a date that's a four day. You know what a four day means? So nah. so just like how I put your birthday in and it gave you a number, mm -hmm. a, a certain date in the, in the calendar, it would add up like the year, the date, and the month. It would add up to a four. Yeah. Now, Donald Trump, he used to post his tweets only on a four day so he would post his tweets because the number four yeah in uh numerology mm -hmm. is actually law and power law power and order okay so, so he would only do you, can, you can think being the president at the time shit. when he was tweeting that shit using the power of the four day yeah, yeah i mean yeah they because uh recently my i was meeting with my account and we were starting the business up yeah and then he said so sunday he was like oh when do you want to fully like start the business mm -hmm. i was like oh we can start it today he's like uh yeah look at the date and the thing today i study my religion and and today is a really bad day oh what and, the fuck? and sunday is and like is re a really bad luck day you should start it on monday I was like, okay, if you believe that, then shit, I believe that too. Damn. Yeah. What the frick? And this is my business. So he's like, he's telling me, like, trust me, like, you don't want to start on this day, start on a Monday. Because yeah, then, yeah, then, yeah. then you're, it's going to be more lucky. Damn. So imagine I did that shit by myself and I started on a Sunday and fucking my, that shit went downhill. Man. Okay, I, I want to show you, a, I want to show you a, a TikTok. That. 
with the numerology thing I was looking at. Hold okay, on. Bet. Yo, they deleted it. I'm going to tell you though. I'm going to tell you though. Okay, okay. Fuck, man. Okay, anyways, anyways. Yeah. So this one's crazy. This one's kind of a reach, uh-huh. but this guy explained it in the TikTok really like convincingly. Mm. So May 1st, right? Okay. Supposedly, May 1st is the day the Illuminati was created. Supposedly, Damn. May 1st is the day the Illuminati was created, right? Okay. Apple, Steve Jobs launched all of his shit on May 1st. Okay, yeah. Charlie D'Amelio, her birthday. May 1st. <laughs> May 1st. <laughs> now that's a reach. <laughs> Man said Charlie D'Amelio, so what? Char- Charlie's part of the fucking. No, no, but and you can imagine. <laughs> I can't even say this with a straight face. Yeah. <laughs> but the reason Charlie D'Amelio is You're the biggest TikToker, TikToker. ever. That's on TikTok platform, because her birthday. Yo, it's I, May first. <laughs> that's definitely bullshit, but I'll, I'll add on to it just because the fun. Yeah, Charlie really. I mean, other from dancing, why did she blow up that quick? No, I, no one has. No a, one has no a reason. One, right? No one has a reason. So like, it's like nobody why? knows exactly. Did she sell her soul on that day, fam? I don't know. See exactly. No, that's a really good point though. Like, there's some yeah. people. Like, why does she even? Yeah. They're, they're old. Because there's so many other girls too that do the same yeah, thing. But why she, did she... Exactly. Do you think... Conspiracy right now. Mm. Do you think Charlie D'Amelio was picked on purpose to be blown up? Um, to go viral? It maybe, could be. Th- maybe they chose the like most basic like white girl <laughs> they, they found. And they're like, yeah, this might might uh, relate to others. You feel me? So let me, let me, let's blow that one up. Theory right now? So yeah. they picked Charlie because she's very like, um, I guess, relatable person mm, yeah and the whole platform is at the time was usually like that age group mm. and little girls trying to be like other influencers yeah like now they picked her because not only was she not doing anything too far out of i mean reality like everybody can go and dance and yeah. become popular mm-hmm. that gave everybody hope and then made everybody want to try use the app and become like her That's so do you true. think she's like an industry plant Oh, for TikTok. Damn. Because you think about it. Think about it. If you were going to make somebody viral and give everybody else hope mm. and then make everybody want to use your app, you would pick somebody that would bring that message and promote it. Mm-hmm. Like, I wouldn't use the app if only rich people were blowing up for on this sure. app, right? But but did she have a pull before TikTok or was nah. she didn't, right? Nah. So, okay, then Mm. it's interesting right but usually industry plants are already rich though so if, if you're saying that uh they put picked her because they related to how she she came up no i don't i'm not saying industry plant in the sense of like they knew her before mm. but industry plant in the sense of like they were gonna look for someone to pick yeah. and they picked her i don't know i feel like i feel like the demilios just sold their shit bro because it's like it's like if you're look at look at them now they're all crying and they're trying to get out of it that only doesn't happen because fam you're on a dancing app you shouldn't be crying because you have fame because you're on a dancing yeah, you'd app. you'd be fam. so happy yeah. so so obviously the devil's gonna tempt them to or give them shit that oh here's, you're not ready for here's your here's your consequences now since you decided to sell that shit to me mm. you feel me no but <laughs> it, it gets even sketchier like how the hell they they made such a big empire off big, tiktok to compete with the kardashians and now they have a show and collabing with kardashian that's crazy kardashian, <clears throat> kardashians definitely sold their shit too 100 yeah we, we talked about that yeah, we talked yeah. literally the um the kardashian like great grandmother yeah th- there was also um a story i read too yeah how a uh, ventriloquist sold his soul too mm. so his name is jean de i think i think i heard it oh yeah. you have and he was the i think at the time the most famous ventriloquist right mm-hmm. but there was uh there was reports that his his doll his e- his doll was evil, and that oh shit and yeah. it possessed him. And his doll, listen, listen, his doll like uh talked talked whenever he wanted. Oh shit! He moved whenever he wanted. <laughs> Yo. And there were also reports where the doll wasn't even on his hand, and he started moving. Yo, that's cr- that's crazy. Yeah. That's cr- <laughs> and and it was crazy because uh one of John's wife's I think at yeah, the time yeah, yeah. she claims that she went into the room right. When she opened the door, the doll was in a chair on one side of the room. Yeah. And Sean was curled up in a ball crying on the other side of the room. Mm. And the wife heard the doll speaking Latin. And Latin. Latin. Just randomly. Latin. Out of nowhere. And I swear we talked about stories where 
uh, when when you do um tongues talking speaking in tongues, tongues it's Latin speak, it's like broken English you speak yeah. Latin right yeah so and it was crazy because uh the more Jean used the doll mm. the more sick he got oh so, so it was taking him, he, he, it was taking power he was taking power and uh sooner or later he was in his deathbed right yeah 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 and his last call was to his wife and he finally told it, her that oh I bought this doll off of a guy roaming around the streets. With the understanding that if I let the devil possess this doll, I would have all the fame and fortune I would ever want in this Damn. life. So it's like, that's why he was the most famous. And because he was the best. Because fam, if you're a ventriloquist, yeah, yeah, yeah. people think that that's you doing it. That's the devil talking to so you. So it was, yo, so it's using him now. It's using him. Damn. Oh, fuck. That, remind, that reminds you of Goosebumps, you know? You yeah, know, yeah. Like the old Goosebumps mm -hmm. book with the ventriloquist yeah, dolls. Yeah. That's just fuck. That just scares me because any doll, it's anything that looks human, mm. anything that looks human but isn't human, it yeah. always has. There's a scientific word for it too. Leave that in the comments if you know. Yeah. But it literally, it triggers something in our brain to be afraid right away yeah. because they're acting in in such way that's not alive oh but God. is. So when robots come to be, the reason we're so afraid of cyborgs, even clowns, is because. They're kind of human, but not. Not, yeah. Even zombies, they're kind of no, human, but not. Facts, facts. And the reason Attack on Titan... <laughs> the reason Attack on Titan is so popular, too, mm. is because it takes advantage of that. There's a word for it, yeah. but it takes advantage of that feeling. Because mm. the Titans, they're literally human. Yeah, but they're trying to get out. But they're, they're like, yeah, they're Fuck. not human at the same time. Damn. There was also one I read where... Um, Yo, why is it focused for... Why is, was it unfocused for so long? It's good. <laughs> no, but as soon as we start talking about devil and possessing, why does it unfocus for that long? Stop, 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 stop. Yo, yes, you got scared. Fuck, fam. Yes, you got scared. Holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a, cra a crazy face you made. You're like, <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> Head out. Head ass. <laughs> No, uh, no, but there was there was some guy right who was um yeah uh, who went through this little like exorcism in his own place where uh he was he told his family to get away from him mm. and he chained himself on the bed right what the fuck he, <laughs> why fam, <laughs> oh because he was being possessed yeah, he was being possessed like he he had a feeling like it was abnormal yeah did you hear that did you make I that thought noise? that was your stomach that wasn't my stomach fam that's probably your phone okay. I heard uh, What the fuck was that? Nah, that was your stomach. I okay, continue, okay, continue. Okay. Yo, and then, uh, what do you call this? He was like twitching and doing all this, right? Yeah. And and the family didn't like feed him or do anything, right? Uh, or give him water or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. just in the room, right? And as soon as he lifted up his shirt, there was like 60 bite marks. Oh, fuck. When he lifted up his shirt. And I think the parents got arrested because they let his son go through that. Like yeah, he yeah, wasn't yeah. giving water or food and that's how like, I, and the boy died from that and the parents were liable shit what the fuck so yeah. wait 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 so they were liable because he got possessed yeah which how crazy. the fuck are you supposed to exactly no but in in the cop sense they said since you didn't give him water or you didn't give him food that that's on you that you just let him perish like that oh uh, but, but still it's still, like, like that's out of your control bro if, if, if your kid literally writes you a letter, stay away and and puts puts himself in chains. You're not gonna go in there. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> did they see the bite? They like showed the police the bite <laughs> marks. They yo. did. They did. They did. And they're like, nah. See, that's a problem too. It's like, yeah. how do you prove things that's beyond mm. you know the supernatural and shit? Like, how do you prove that stuff? Yeah. Especially when it comes to the law. Yeah, man. It's like, yeah. Ghosts, you can't. Ghosts are really just setting up families for failure, bro. Yeah. Oh, yo. There's this um. There's this Game of Thrones theory I really want to talk about. Okay, okay. So there's a video. Hold on. I want to show you the video. Okay, this is from like, I think episode one. Mm. So there's a theory that Robert Baratheon in Game of Thrones cursed all of the Starks at the beginning of the show, okay. episode one. Check yeah. this out. So remember when he goes to Winterfell and he greets everybody, right? Yeah, yeah. So he says hello to his friend, Ned, okay. who <laughs> ends up dying, right? Because he, you know, yeah, everything yeah, happens, but. Who have we here? Look who he says. It must be Rob. So he says hi to Rob, right? Okay. So he shakes, first he shakes Ned's hand. Then he shakes Rob's. Then he shakes Rob's. Both of them became king and died, right? Yeah. 
Now check this. He says, I, you're a pretty one. to Sansa Stark, right? He yeah. says, I, you're a pretty one. Later in the show, Sansa, right? Yeah. She ends up becoming kind of like a slave bride to, oh, to the king, um, the bastard king. Yeah. So you're a pretty one. So that he cursed her right there, fam. Oh Look what he says to Arya. Okay. Your name is? Arya. She says, your name is? In the show, fam, Arya Stark, what happens to her? She becomes the girl of no name. What? She becomes the girl of no name, and it because because she can change her face and she becomes nobody. Oh. She literally becomes nobody, right? Now check this out. He show says hi to, to Bran. He says, show us your muscles. muscles. So show us your muscles. Mean? Bran, in the first episode, like literally later in the episode, fam, yeah. becomes a cripple. Wow. He says, show us your muscles. He becomes a cripple. <laughs> what the fuck? Robert Baratheon cursed the whole Stark family yeah. beginning of the show, episode one. This, wow. So it was like a big foreshadow. Yeah, and everything. That's literally the whole show. Literally w, the whole show. That's a W directing. That's crazy directing. That's a crazy directing. That's thing. crazy directing. Holy smoke. Imagine every single little thing. Yeah. That's what I really want to achieve as a as a director in the future too. Yeah. It just leaves such subtle hints and shit. Subtle hints. And then like later it all makes sense. Yeah. Even if it's by accident, but like still. Damn. Right? What what if like oh if you had that power oh if you had that power and you're just randomly going up to everyone and you're just oh uh just oh, cursing nice people to, by I, what they say? No, no, it's just like, oh, nice to meet you. And then you just say a random name. Like, I go up to you and I say, oh, uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, Liana. And then yeah. you don't know what that name is. And then sooner or later, you marry a Liana. Like, I foreshadowed your whole oh, life. Oh, well, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> I, like, I just say random names. No, imagine you had the power. This would be a crazy plot. But imagine yeah. you had the power every time you meet somebody and then you compliment them on something. It curses them. Oh, no. So you know how you said, like, oh, very pretty, very but it was pretty. her curse because she became a slave wife, mm -hmm. right? Now, I was like, yeah, really pretty eyes. What oh, happens? You go blind. Holy wow, you're a really good listener. What happens? You go deaf. I go up to you like this, right? Yeah. Shake my hand. You're a really good talker. Oh. <laughs> but I'm, I'm a great talker, fam. I'm a great talker. Chill, chill, chill. It's like you develop a stutter. <laughs> chill, 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 chill. Or a lift. <laughs> that's fucked that's fucked no nah, but imagine if there's somebody out there in the world yeah that can literally cur i think if there's somebody that can curse people mm -hmm. and it is true yeah they're being monetized they're 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 using it as their job bro yeah psychics you can say psychics. i don't those think ones psychics are the same though really like i'm talking on some voodoo shit on some voodoo shit like let me knock on wood real quick let me protect myself but but remember in in that drake song why does it go back to Drake? No, remember that Drake song? Literally, Knife Talk. Yeah. He said, a voodoo curse. I got him while we flew the Turks. <laughs> yeah. Yo, imagine Drake put a fucking voodoo curse on somebody. That's Yo, crazy. I've never, I've never heard that shit before. You never heard that in the song? No, no I've never heard uh, someone relying on a Drake lyric to, to justify voodoo. <laughs> No, no, no. What I'm saying is like, what I'm saying is like, if he's serious, because yeah. usually when he raps about something, it's mm -hmm. the truth. Mm -hmm. Does that mean like he hired somebody? That's true. <laughs> to put a voodoo curse on. <laughs> Probably Kanye, like, you know what I mean? Because they were beefing at the time. Yeah, yeah. There, there was this really cool fact that Drake's album, album three albums, all line up perfectly. So uh, his first one, yeah. Certified Lover Boy, mm -hmm. right? Next one, honestly, never mind. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The next, next one, one, you're lost. <laughs> Her loss, her loss, her loss, her loss. So that shit is smart. So he's like, he's it's like a, it's a trilogy. It's a trilogy. It's a timeline. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I feel like it's perfect too because he dropped Certified Lover Boy. I think summer was it? Because mm -hmm. uh, end of summer, that's where usually mans are cuffed. So they're the Certified Lover Boy. Yeah. He dropped Honestly Never Mind during a time where it's like fall. People are people have gone through their summer fling. Honestly, yeah, yeah, honestly, yeah. never mind. And now it's like her loss since we're in depression season, winter season. Winter season. Her oh, loss. Oh shit! Because everybody's, everybody's everyone's getting their heart broke. Yeah, and everyone's, everyone's developing a roster right now, so it's like her loss. I'm, I'm gonna get another one. Damn. Yeah, sure. Drake is smart, bro. That's true. Drake is smart. You know what's crazy though? Yeah. <clears throat> Damn, this is like a personal thing, but I feel like a lot of people found love in 2021, bro. Yeah. <laughs> 2021, yo, especially. Yo. Actually, wait. Is it 2022 this year? 
Oh no! It was 2021 when 2021, everyone. 2021. I'm, I'm saying though. Yeah, because when I was single, fam, I was like, "Yo, why is everyone having girlfriend right now, bro?" Oh yeah, it is 22. I thought today. It's 20. Wait, it's 2022. Yes. Oh my god. Yo, why does it still feel like 2021? It does. Though? It does. It does. I feel like we're holding. When... Yo. <laughs> Wait. Didn't we start the podcast? Oh yeah, we're two years now. Two years. Two year... Wait, what? Two year, start... two year anniversary is next month. Really? November. Did we start in 2020 or 2021? 2020. No, we but started it felt in like 2021. No, you know why? Because we started November, oh, late, late. November 2020. Ah, uh, got you, got you. Yo, you know what's crazy? What? I started Wico Studios in, in 2020. I think, yo, yo, that's crazy. I think 2020. Because podcast is right at, what the fuck? Yeah, 2020 was literally the year of all the, I think the start of every entrepreneur starting their business up. Like if you weren't in the field for this time and you're just catching on now, you kind of were too late to the clothing brand, too late to the podcast wave. It's never too late. It's never too late. Uh, Yeah, but it's like- it's There's it's a wave, like, I yeah, guess. It's, it's, it's a wave, but it's definitely oversaturated right now. But it's like, uh, if you were there at that time, you you now have one of the, you're like a staple in that, in that like little industry, mm. like you have your staple. Because I remember 2020, that was the coronavirus year where everyone was A like, lot Fuck. of clothing brands came up on yeah. that time. Yeah, that's very true. A lot of creators too came up at that time. Exactly. Bella Porch. Yeah, I think that was my favorite year because that was like, it was like the grind, strictly the grind. Yo, that's fuck. That's crazy because yeah. I literally started my clothing brand 2020 and then the podcast at the end of the year. At the end of the year. That's cr- I didn't really take that in. That's yeah. so crazy to me. Mm-hmm. Remember what the, the numerology said? It was like quickness. If you have an idea, succeed fam, quickly. Succeed, succeed quickly, quickly, quickly. Yeah, and I was hesitant. I was like, "Fuck, man!" This guy's asked me for a thousand dollars for some equipment. I'm like, "Ah, man, I'm kind of broke right now." <laughs> but I was like, "This is <laughs> no, you, you can't tell me I never guided you into something successful. Like everything yeah. I guided you to was yeah. success, fam." I know you're gonna say that about the story too. <laughs> Every single thing, bro. Every single thing, chill, chill. whether it be women, chill, chill, chill. whether it be entrepreneurship ventures. Mm-hmm. I definitely, I definitely, I definitely motives. Got it. <laughs> motives. I definitely got there, but Carlos was a help too. So, but you feel me? It's like, oh, uh, I don't even know what I was gonna say. <laughs> I don't even know what I was gonna say. It's just the truth. It's just the truth, fam. So, <laughs> I guess, bro. Fuck that. Fuck that. I did this shit all my, by myself. <laughs> oh, but oh, no, this is what I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, when I was talking about the investment, yeah. I remember Lil Baby was on Kai's thing, and he said, um, he charges, I think. Um, like 250k right yeah Something 250k like that. 450k for some features a lot of people are hesitant but would you take that even if you're not a rapper to to get a feature by Lil yeah because loki i would because it's like uh it's an investment because what you would get after is is uh what brings it in so it's like even if you're spending 450 look at what you're getting after from Lil baby <laughs> It's cost benefit analysis, though. Yeah, I know. It's cost benefit because you let's say you do get a feature, little baby, yeah. but that track like is a one hit wonder, and you're not even prepared. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing: like you can have a crazy song that goes viral, yeah. but does your other discography Fuck keep it. you keep you successful? Mm, if not, true. then maybe you're not ready for the one hit wonder. Mm. Yeah, me maybe God. Remember, I said this before. Maybe God's blessings are like held back because you're not ready at that time. Yeah. Like maybe when your discography is ready and you have multiple hits, then that one hit that goes crazy, mm-hmm. everybody goes back to look at your other uh, your other songs. Yeah. Where well, you have nothing there, mm-hmm. and then you're struggling. Oh shit! I gotta make something. I gotta make something, and it's not the same vibe or it's not the same talent. Then it's like, oh my, yeah, me. I like. I would. I would definitely want to live like the the Gangnam Style guy because he created one hit. No, he had two. Ah, he, he had, had one, but like the other one's okay. Yeah, but, but he still lives off Gangnam Style. He's still doing that shit in in Asia. He like he he still runs shit there. But I'm pretty sure he was rich before that, eh? Oh really? <laughs> yeah, he was really oh, rich never before mind, that. Man. He came from a really rich family. Oh shit, never mind. I, I thought he was like broke, and then like he made one hit wonder, and then he was rich off that song. Nah, bro. There was even this um. Yo, I forgot yeah. the, the name of the YouTuber, but there's this girl. She was a YouTuber, right? Yeah. And everybody thought this was back in the day, like early YouTube, OG YouTube, okay. where people were doing vlogs like this, just like face cam vlogs. Oh, like yeah. This, right? Kind of Fred vibes. Mm. But everybody thought that it was just her, her camera in her bedroom, just making videos, right? Yeah. Little did everybody know her whole YouTube channel was scripted was run by a bigger company oh, an actual like freaking creative team yeah set everything is all fabricated to make it feel like just in the bedroom chilling mm, blah blah, blah chilling. making jokes and shit yeah. but all of that shit was scripted and planned out by a bigger network so she was that's that as industry plan yeah 
Yeah, that was like the first was the first one. Yeah, I forgot her name. Please leave down in the comments. I yeah. really don't remember the name, but this is a long, long time ago. That's and wild. Blew everybody's mind, bro. Mm. Blew everybody's mind, man. Damn. Because it maybe it feels like, and I think there's something, of, we talked about this before, but there's something about feeling at home with somebody. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like I think that's why Emma Chamberlain is so successful because- Because it's her relatability. It's just her just chilling with you and just like, yeah, I yeah. feel like a hangout, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, Nothing I feel too crazy. Like it's like online friends, right? If you make a friend online, you would stick and always watch their videos. Yeah. Like you have to, you have to build that relationship through a screen, which is hard, but low key, it's easy at the same time. Mm -hmm. It depends if you have the personality <clears throat> if you for have the personality, it. Some yeah. people- yeah, some exactly. of you know, but some people they they have something for like um, one hit wonder success. Like what? Like some people, some people have viral. Like look, look at all those um, boom gang. Like oh, all those people, yeah. you know, mm. like they had viral success, but they never, never really. What's it called? Them. The Island Boys. All that shit. Yeah, I mean, no, I feel like, but that's not even uh, them. That's why. catch me outside. Yeah, but that's not even them. Like, like. Uh, oh, you think <laughs> it's a character they play? That that's why it didn't last uh, the test of time because it's like. Longevity. Because they're playing a character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I always say is longevity is versatility. L longevity equals versatility. If you are versatile enough where you can switch up and still be you, mm. you can you can last in the game for so long. Anything else does not matter. You feel me? Like I yeah. see it in a lot of clothing brands. Like they're just copying what the trend is now, but they, they don't put their own twist on it. Boom, your trend's done. Shit. Yeah, you're because done. no Yeah, you're exactly. right, you're right. Cause um <clears throat> there's always a way. To be yourself, but also assimilate to trend exactly, and keep yeah. it. Because instead of like changing your whole, I guess, character and channel to appeal to one thing. Yeah. That's why I feel like a lot of these, the quote unquote, like the red pill creators, mm. they're going away, away and like yeah. disappearing. Is because once that trend is over and like that's not talked about, like Loki, they, they're yeah. gone too. But if you take your personality and then yeah. bring it on an adventure yeah. of literally just life, mm. like me talking to you guys me talking to gavin yeah. is literally me going through life oh, as what? all of these trends happen all yeah. of these stories and all of these events it. and it's just my mind expanding and mm -hmm. like trying to bring conclusions together yeah. on shit that's happening in real time Facts, bro. so it's literally like a it's like you're watching the news but it's well, just no, it's through like, my personality yeah. they, i'm not saying like informational <laughs> news but it's, it's literally watching the days go by mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like watching us do our personality. Yeah, because yeah. like I know a lot of people. I have this shit where it's like on my old Mac, on my old MacBook. Yeah, like the white ones, like the white MacBooks. Yeah, that shit. The, of course, Damn. and you had your camera roll, and you would vlog mostly like what you're doing. I can go through all the videos and shit, and just watch me grow up. Damn. Yeah, I don't have that shit no more because I uh, like that shit broke down. But mm -hmm. if I had that, woo. I really wish, bro. This is one of my saddest moments. Yeah. I really wish my mom got my whole kindergarten speech because my kindergarten speech was fucking fire. You had a speech at kindergarten? Yeah, because really? the graduation speech. <clears throat> oh. You know how we had SK to grade one graduation? Yeah. So I had a speech for that and it was like a nice one. But yeah. my mom didn't. He got like the tail end of it. <laughs> okay. But I really wish he had it because yeah. I, I said, when I grew up, I want to be an artist. I want to blah, 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 yeah. blah, this and that. And yeah, I didn't there, get there, it. there was a full circle moment that happened recently because uh, one of my old, old friends watched um, uh, episode 100 mm -hmm. and she was just congratulating me on the success. And this person was a person who I was compared to my whole elementary kind of in high school too not not really high school but elementary school yeah like that's where i picked up like remember i told you stories about oh like a competitive, yeah, competitive how, academics yeah, yeah like yeah. you know how i i told you about how i would dress up in um in sweater vest and act, oh yeah and act like a a, a smart kid mm -hmm. it's because it's because fucking i was compared to this girl so much and i was known as the dumb one she was known as the smart one mm -hmm. and just seeing her and how everyone doubted me and said that oh he's not gonna go if if you look at it on paper she's obviously gonna go, yeah. be successful in life but seeing her seeing how life played out and how she came back around and congratulated me mm -hmm. and i seen where she was I was like, that's that's a really humbling experience because it's like, if you guys are doubted or you guys are compared, never ever doubt yourself on your ability and what you can do. If you're, uh, let's say, uh, 16 year old and they're saying you're dumb. Nah, you can switch up anytime you want, bro. You can like literally go viral in a night. 
Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Like that's true. It's very humbling. Like just, I, just because you're not good at one thing doesn't mean you can't be you can amazing be exactly. at something else. And that's so real because you see that story all the time, even with with athletes. Like yeah. maybe they're not smart academically, but yeah. they can be smart on the court. Exactly. Like they can find what they're really good at and succeed with what they're good at. Exactly. Just because it's not in your game and we want to play by your rules, like fuck that. Facts. So so what? I'm not good at school. Feel me? So what? I'm not good at school. I'll find success anywhere else. Yeah. And I had this debate before. It's like, yo, so who is really smart then? Mm. So who is really smart if you stayed in school? I, okay, I don't want to knock on school, but yeah. but I'm not saying you. It, I'm not yeah, saying yeah, you, but obviously. somebody, somebody like let's say in my program, yeah. specifically entrepreneurship, they stayed in school and like, haha, you couldn't make it, blah blah. blah. Mm-hmm. You couldn't finish school like me. I, what are you doing though? Yeah. So I was able to find success. Mm-hmm. Boom, you're still in school. You're making fun of me because I couldn't finish. But what? Yeah. I have what I built. And you're thirty thousand dollars in debt. That's exactly what I felt. <laughs> That's exactly what I felt. You you pinpointed it. <laughs> right? like, like, yeah, like they're at the time, like they laugh at you, but. Mm. shit plays out in a way exactly, you're right yeah exactly. that's real that's super know, real that's that's what i live by now is comparison is a thief of joy never compare yourself but to also others. also this is very <laughs> real too this is what i mean when i was fighting my demons about power is like mm. even though you know you're so powerful don't let it be everything yeah because gavin i'm telling you sometimes ego is crazy i know ego is a crazy thing mm-hmm. and the temptation with ego is crazy too yeah you have to find yourself like how to how to ground yourself and keep yourself sane and keep yourself like even though i'm so high i'm still not too good to do this i'm For still sure. not too good to do this just because you're a king doesn't mean you can't work in the fields facts facts right mm-hmm. why can't you work in the fields right yeah. that's where the that's where the shit gets done too a lot. yo there's been many times where it's like i had to ground my ego because it's like <clears throat> you can't feel it, too good about something you can because uh a lot of people when you look at me right and you're at a party you don't you see me as like like just face value like oh what this guy i can easily make fun of this guy shit like that right mm-hmm. and and it's like until like sometimes it's until i show them like oh shit this is what i do for a living then they start changing up and shit but it's like when somebody uh pages me at school or, or calls me dumb and shit i really have to ground my shit because it's like fuck man they don't know they don't know like what what i can really do mm-hmm. so let me just let me just chill out and just remain humble you feel me yeah but at the same time too gavin yeah. like put yourself in that position let's say you're you're still not good at something right yeah. and i'm in let's say i'm in their game mm. like i'm i'm shit at school everything else aside everything yeah. whatever i do whatever i am everything else aside let me be great here then if I'm shit here, let me be great here. Then let me level up to your level. Then add that to my repertoire. Facts. Boom. All infinity stones. Mm. You get me? That ass. That ass. So I'm not good at, let's say I'm not good at basketball. Shit. Mm. Let me get good at basketball. Yeah. All infinity stones, right? Yeah. So even though you're so good at other things, that's the ego that holds you back sometimes is you're too good at other shit and you think it translates to, to stuff you're not even but you can actually really be good at that exactly that that you're not even um you didn't even dip your toe into and you I'll think lie. you're you think you're top shit you're not even you know what i mean facts you just walked in you walked in on the first day you think you're gonna be up to us you know facts you have to build your way up you have to make yourself yeah. up to that par and then <laughs> shit then you can say yo i like how this one's bad motivational but they're gonna see a picture of neo and fucking, fucking aaron yeager, and yeager, aaron yeager. Like, we're, we're gonna be on motivational pages and it's fucking aaron yeager and neo <laughs> saying, oh, yo we're starting the rumbling man Alive. shout out everyone that tuned in today um happy halloween yes, uh up. make sure to comment like subscribe all that good stuff mm-hmm. uh make sure to download an apple spotify all that we love you guys yeah yo if you guys don't know you guys can listen to us all on spotify apple mm-hmm. music if you guys are like doing your homework whatever because i know youtube you can't play the video unless you have like youtube premium nice. listen to audio just go on to the audio version yo mm-hmm. and listen to us on there yes anyways thank you everyone for watching and yeah jump to jump out deuces